Mark, thanks for joining us today. We're going to now get stuck into our quick fire. You're a sprinter, so I want these really quick, okay? A quick fire question round. Any rituals, any superstitions you'd have? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I'm very anti superstitions. I think they're just an excuse. If there's a superstition, you know, you're not wearing your lucky socks or something. You came into athletics probably a little bit late. You played yeah. GA an awful lot. Um, any sporting hero? Um, also, Usain Bolt was a big influence. Uh, a yeah. big influence, especially when I started. He was kind of at his peak. Um, tea or coffee? Definitely tea. Yeah, all day. Uh, what type of tea? Lions, obviously. <laughs> um, your favorite stadium? And well, probably if people haven't noticed, yeah. we are sitting here in, in Morton Stadium. Yeah. Um, it's been updated. It's looking pretty, pretty cool. Is this your home turf? Is this your yeah, favorite place? This is the home grounds. This is where I've been training ever since I started. Um, outside of Ireland, maybe Grosseto in Italy. There's a lot of uh, proud moments or a proud moment there. So yeah. other than that, you know, Morton all the way. The toughest athlete you've competed against? Marcus has always been very good nationally. Um, Marcus Lawler. Yeah, Marcus Lawler was, when I started he was he was the one and he would have been almost like a role model, you know, he was the one that you wanted to be. Away from the sport, because obviously you, you, you train hard, and you train quite regularly, a um, couple of days off, but outside of all that, how do you get away from the sport? Any kind of hobbies? I know you're looking at the cameras here going like, ooh, yeah. they're yeah. nice. <laughs> so I'm doing my masters at the moment and that, that will take up all the rest of your time in the world. Um, other than that, uh, enjoy watching stuff like Formula One, enjoy the movies as well, TV shows that keeps me occupied. So, In terms of your training, what is the, the session that you dread the most? I think compared to other people, we don't have that hard of a training. Well, like, you know, like we don't kill ourselves, <laughs> you can see other people doing. Um, maybe turnabouts, you yeah. know them, I don't know, they'll, they'll humble you pretty quickly. Yeah. Through athletics, you get to travel an awful lot and from training camps to races. Is there any place that really kind of, you mentioned Grosseto, um, proud moment there, but in terms of kind of visiting, competing, any place that really kind of stuck out for you? Um, Belgium, Mordegum has always been one. Um, that's such like a, it's like you pick up the entire athletics community and drop it in. Your ru uh, rumor is they chartered their own flight over there. <laughs> like, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, but it's like it's great to see. It's good to see all the community there, and yeah. like everyone's relaxed and having a bit of fun. And training partners, is there anyone that um, you enjoy training with, or anyone that you would like to train with? I've always wanted to train with someone like Andre de Grasse. That would be that would be cool. Um, no laws, obviously. Someone like a really good 200 meter runner to push me. I could do the sport just just to train. Yeah. Like yeah, uh, yeah. if there was no racing, I would be wouldn't be bothered. But on the same, I think I've gotten over the nervousness of showing up for a race or like I, I really don't care who I'm going against. It's probably the thing, one of the biggest things that holds a lot of kids kind of teenagers and stuff like that back when it comes to athletics. Mm -hmm. The whole kind of nervousness and how to manage that. Yeah, I think there may be too much involvement in who's, who's, who, who's here, yeah, who's yeah. racing, who's not racing, like that's not really important to your performance. What's next then? Obviously you kicked off the season um, you've got uh, a few races lined up over the next couple of weeks. So next would be European Games, um, do the two and the four by one there. Uh, other than that, looking at Morton Games, AI Games, and then just the lead up to Nationals then. Yeah, so it's going to be a busy summer. Exactly, yeah. And the confidence of indoors, you must be looking forward to this summer. Yeah, it certainly gets reset at the start of every season, so at the end of indoors and the start of outdoors to kind of like you need to you need to do it again you need to prove yourself yeah. again and um, so there's a bit of confidence but not not egotistical mark thanks for joining us today some great answers in there and we wish you all the very best for the upcoming season cheers david